Understandably, the world's focus of late has been on the destructive power and human cost of Russia's conventional warfare. But experts warn we mustn't underestimate the power of Russia's cyber capabilities. Although the threat from cyber warfare can seem quite abstract, it has potential real-world consequences with the ability to cripple power supplies. Health services have been significantly disrupted in the past and the technology at the heart of the West's aviation sector is at risk. Apart from an attack on some of Ukraine's critical systems in the initial stages of the invasion, there has been no concerted effort by Russia to attack Western infrastructure in recent weeks. But as economic sanctions begin to take a real stranglehold on Moscow, Vladimir Putin is increasingly likely, we're told, to unleash his cyber capabilities. I would say there's a fairly high probability based upon the types of grey warfare, the hybrid warfare that uh, Putin uh, and the, the Kremlin have been executing against uh, others in the space to coerce um, and to bully um, its, uh, its neighbours or adversaries. Um, I think it's a weapon that's being held in reserve right now, but we certainly need to be on a, a heightened le level of, uh, of preparedness. The West banking sector is also at risk, especially as Russia has been kicked out of the SWIFT international payment system. And Russia's network of criminal gangs is another potent tool in Putin's armory. As well as being one of the most formidable cyber powers in terms of government capabilities, Russia also has the largest concentration by far of serious organized cyber crime on the planet. And before the invasion in 2021, we saw those criminals disrupt uh, petrol supplies in the US, healthcare in Ireland, schools in England, food retail in Sweden, the list goes on. If the Russian state were to, if you like, unleash its ransomware capabilities, its cyber criminal capabilities, then that could get, whilst not catastrophic, that could get pretty unpleasant. Although the West computer systems are better protected these days, there are still inherent weaknesses, vulnerabilities adversaries would look to exploit. A lot has been done to shore up um, a lot of the critical infrastructure across the UK, particularly the NHS. There are still gaps in the fabric, there are still chinks in the armour that we need to be aware exist and we need to, to take precautions, compensating security controls, for example, in order to, uh, to ensure that uh, uh, perpetrators can't get through that armour. For now, Russia's main focus is on the conventional battlefield. Any cyber attack would almost certainly provoke a response in kind from the West. In fact, in the cyber domain, Russia is already fighting off multiple attacks from Western computer hackers who've turned away from their traditional targets of big business and government at home, focusing their disruptive talents on Moscow instead.